If you don't have too much knowledge or you're not an expert in the way AI paintings work or how to create them, that's completely okay because in this video, I'm going to go over everything that you need to know to start making money with your own AI paintings today. Now, I've seen a ton of videos online that are incredibly misinformed, outdated, and way too technical. I'm going to show you in real time the step-by-step -step blueprint on how you can create your own AI painting and sell it for profit. As an artist myself who loves painting abstract art, I've seen firsthand how you can make tons of money selling paintings. I've sold paintings from ranges of $200 to $2,000. So I can tell you it's a very lucrative business if you can do it right. And I'm sure that a lot of you guys who are watching this right now know that many people around the world have made hundreds of thousands of dollars selling AI art that was literally made in minutes. And it's also easier than ever now to make your own AI art. So I really do hope that this video can give you lots of value to get started. Before we begin, if you enjoy these how to make money videos, don't forget to smash that like button down below so that YouTube can recommend you with more valuable content just like this. In this channel, we talk everything about AI, personal finance, and high performance. So if you wanna be part of my journey, I would love to welcome you to the Sea Rich family. With that said, let's get started. The first step to creating your painting is selecting an AI art generator. Now there are a lot of different art generators out there and I've tried a bunch of them, but the one I highly recommend is called DALL-E. DALL-E is part of OpenAI, which is a company that owns ChatGPT. So it's gonna be really easy to use. As of today, it does cost a little bit of money. You'll need to invest $15 for 115 pictures, but in my opinion, it's completely worth it. Yes, there are some free AI art generators out there, but it's usually filled with lots of ads. The website's usually really slow and the pictures are not as high quality. I personally wouldn't waste my time on those. Keep in mind that for $15, you can make 115 paintings that you can sell and you can make each of them for less than like 20 cents. So it's really cheap if you put it into perspective. And for most people, 115 credits is way more than enough to sustain your AI painting business for a whole month. Now, step number two, there are a couple of things you need to know before you get started. The first thing to be aware of is that when you're giving prompts to the AI, you wanna to try to make it as specific as possible. So for example, if you want a painting of a dog, maybe you can add stuff like a dog with glasses in Malibu or something like that. Because the more specific you are, the more personalized the painting is gonna be and the more money you can sell it for. Now, the second thing to be aware of is that you wanna to try to focus on a specific niche and become the top 1% seller in that niche. So if you have a target audience or a specific theme that you're passionate about, for example, finance, abstract art, or animals, then you wanna try double down on that because people wanna pay for quality and the more specialized you are, the easier it is to sell your paintings and the more money you'll make. Now, step number three, you wanna get familiar with the generator. So I'll just go ahead and buy the credits to show you guys how to use the website. Okay, so now we've just bought the credits. Let's try type something like a dog with sunglasses in a Bitcoin. Okay, that's probably a really bad prompt, but let's just see what it generates. And in the matter of seconds, boom. Now we have a dog with glasses with his hind kind of in the shape of a Bitcoin. Okay, now let's try to do something different. Let's try to give the AI some stylistic suggestions. So let's try type something like a Van Gogh style painting of a monkey in space. And just in a couple seconds, boom. Now we have four variations of monkeys in space. Honestly, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's try one more. Let's try to do something really specific. Let's do a Shiba Inu dog in Times Square wearing a black turtleneck on a skateboard. <laughs> no way, that's actually pretty crazy. But you guys get the point. You can basically give the AI any prompt in any style and it's gonna make a painting for you. The more specific you are, the better the pictures you're gonna get. Now there's actually another cool way that you can use DALL-E. If you look at the page, it says upload an image to edit. And basically what this means is that you can use your own pictures and edit it with artificial intelligence. So let me just show you. Let's say I wanna upload a picture of myself in a suit. I'm gonna go ahead and press crop and then edit image. Then I wanna try highlight my eyes and I wanna type in sunglasses to see if the AI can add them. Absolutely, it can. This tool is pretty powerful. And so you can use this image tool to customize the needs of your clients. Let's try to do one more. Here we have an image of Elon Musk. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Press edit image and highlight the spot on the right. So I wanna add like a Shiba Inu dog and let's see what happens. That is phenomenal and pretty cute. So now you guys know how to use this AI art generator. Once you have your digital art file, what you wanna do is find a local print shop to physically print your pictures into a canvas. So on Google, you can just type print shops near me, or you could also go on Etsy to find custom print services. It should be pretty accessible. As a basic rule of thumb, you don't wanna to go too cheap, but you also don't wanna break the bank. So depending on the size, I would go for something that's around $20 to $70. Now, alternatively, if you guys don't wanna physically print your images into a canvas, you can also just sell your images online. 
it's much easier and faster. But from my experience, if you print it in a real canvas, you're gonna get much more profit if you do it this way. So step number five is selecting a marketplace to sell your paintings. And this step is absolutely crucial because you wanna be smart about where you're gonna sell these paintings to maximize your profit. There are two ways I recommend you sell your AI generated paintings. The first method is the easier one and it's through selling it on Etsy or on a freelancing site like Fiverr. So with this method, you're either gonna make it a business that sells custom AI prints, or you're gonna specialize in a niche like dog paintings or abstract art. So as you can see here, if you type in AI art into Etsy, there's actually already some sellers with over 2000 reviews and they're making tons of money. You can do the same thing, but try to pick a niche where you can completely dominate the market and become the best seller. Now, the second method you can sell your paintings is my personal favorite one, which is through reaching out to local businesses. Now, this method is gonna be a little bit more time consuming and harder, but from my experience, you can sell your prints for way much more. I'm talking about in the ranges of hundreds of dollars to even thousands of dollars if you make a deal with the right person. So basically, what you wanna do is email that company or text a person you know that's working in that company if you have their number. It could be a restaurant, a fashion brand, or a tech company. And you wanna ask if they're interested in having some custom physical art for their office or restaurant. You wanna make sure you show your past work to build credibility. And you can even give them like free samples with your watermark or something. Then you wanna pitch your art and give them a price. Usually from my experience, there's gonna be a little bit of negotiation here and there, but you don't wanna sell yourself too short. So step number six, you might be thinking, See Rich, how do you price your paintings? Like what exactly is the number that drives the most profit? From my experience, if you wanna get a more stable income through the Etsy method, then you wanna price your paintings no more than $100. And if you're only selling the digital pictures, you wanna range it to about $20. But once you start getting more reviews and more sales, that's when you can start marking up your prices. Now, if you wanna use the second method in reaching out to local businesses, you're not gonna have that much of a stable income but for each sale, you're gonna make way more money. $100 to $300 could be a good starting point for these physical prints. Now, in the beginning, you don't wanna charge your customers too much because you don't really have a portfolio to show off yet. But after you've sold 10 paintings, 20 paintings to different companies and people, that's when you can start to target the richer companies and price your paintings in a $1,000 range. Now, the final step is marketing your art business. Honestly, there's so many ways you could market your business. You could build an Instagram page or a TikTok page and run organic ads there. Or you could even just focus on Etsy through reviews. The most important thing is your personal branding and showing your past work. Because the more clients you have, the more your portfolio is gonna grow and the more people you're gonna attract to your business. So with this model, your income is gonna compound exponentially. So those are all the steps to create your own AI paintings and sell it for profit. I hope this video was helpful. If you got any value from it, don't forget to like this video and smash that subscribe button down below for more content just like this. As always, bless the hustle, it's you rich, and I'm out.